In the annals of scientific history, there are moments that transcend mere discovery and venture into the realm of profound revelation. One such moment occurred in 1801 when an experiment was conducted that not only challenged the foundations of classical physics, but also hinted at something far deeper, something that might just explain the very fabric of existence itself. This experiment, known as the double slit experiment, did more than revolutionize our understanding of light and matter. It opened a doorway to questions about consciousness, reality, and perhaps even the nature of what we call God. At its core, this experiment revealed that reality is not as fixed or objective as we once believed. Instead, it suggests that the act of observation itself plays a crucial role in shaping the world around us. This discovery, born out of scientific curiosity, inadvertently touched upon ideas that mystics, philosophers, and spiritual seekers have pondered for millennia. Welcome to a journey through one of humanity's most profound scientific breakthroughs. A journey that may just change the way you see yourself and the universe. The story begins with Thomas Young, a polymath whose intellect spanned multiple disciplines. Born in 1773 in England, Young was a physician, linguist, Egyptologist, and physicist. His contributions to deciphering the Rosetta Stone and his work in optics and acoustics earned him the nickname, The Last Man Who Knew Everything. In 1801, Young set out to resolve a debate that had divided scientists for centuries. Is light made of particles, as Isaac Newton proposed, or is it a wave, as suggested by thinkers like Christian Huygens? To answer this question, Young devised a simple yet ingenious experiment. He directed a beam of light through a barrier with two narrow slits and observed the pattern it created on a screen behind a barrier. If light were made of particles, as Newton believed, the screen would show two distinct bands of light corresponding to the two slits. But what Young observed was something entirely different, an interference pattern of alternating light and dark bands, much like the ripples created when two waves overlap in water. This pattern could only be explained if light behaved as a wave, passing through both slits simultaneously and interfering with itself. Young's experiment confirmed the wave theory of light, challenging the prevailing particle theory. But this was only the beginning. Over a century later, with the advent of quantum mechanics, scientists revisited the double-slit experiment, this time using individual particles like electrons and photons. What they discovered would shake the very foundations of our understanding of reality. When the scientists fired individual particles, such as electrons, through the double slits, they expected the particles to behave like tiny bullets passing through one slit or the other and creating two distinct bands on the screen. But to their astonishment, the particles produce the same interference pattern as waves, even when fired one at a time. This suggested that each particle was somehow passing through both slits simultaneously, behaving like a wave and interfering with itself. The mystery deepened when scientists placed detectors at the slits to observe which slit each particle passed through. The moment the particles were observed, the interference pattern disappeared, and the particles behaved as if they had passed through only one slit. In other words, the act of observation seemed to collapse the wave-like behavior of the particles, forcing them to choose a single state. This phenomenon, known as wave function collapse, 
became a cornerstone of quantum mechanics. It revealed that particles exist in a state of superposition, a realm of infinite possibilities, until they are observed. At the moment of observation, the wave function collapses and the particle assumes a definite state. This raised a profound question. What is the role of the observer in shaping reality? The implications of the double-slit experiment extend far beyond the realm of physics. They suggest that consciousness, the act of observation, plays a fundamental role in the creation of reality. This idea resonates with ancient spiritual teachings such as the Hermetic Principle, as above, so below, which posits that the microcosm reflects the macrocosm. In the quantum world, this principle manifests as the interplay between the observer and the observed, where the act of measurement transforms possibility into actuality. Imagine standing in front of a closed door. Behind it, there could be a dog, a cat, or nothing at all. Until you open the door and look, all possibility coexist. In the quantum realm, particles exist in a similar state of superposition where all possible states are open. But the moment you observe or measure them, the wave function collapses and one possibility becomes reality. This phenomenon has profound implications for our everyday lives. It suggests that our thoughts, intentions, and focus have the power to shape our reality. When we concentrate our energy on a goal, a dream, or a solution, we are, in a sense, collapsing the wave function of possibility into a tangible outcome. Conversely, when we fixate on problems or limitations, we reinforce those realities. The double-slit experiment teaches us that we are not passive observers of an objective reality, but active participants in its creation. To fully grasp the implications of the double-slit experiment, we must delve deeper into the nature of reality itself. At the heart of quantum mechanics lies the concept of the quantum vacuum, a vast, infinite field of potential energy from which everything in the universe emerges. This quantum vacuum is not empty. It is a seething ocean of possibilities, the primordial source of all matter and energy. Imagine zooming in on your hand with an incredibly powerful microscope. At first, you would see molecules and atoms, then subatomic particles like protons, neutrons, and electrons. Delving even deeper, you would encounter quarks, the building blocks of matter. But what lies beneath quarks? According to modern physics, it is the quantum vacuum, a field of pure, unbounded energy. Everything in the universe, from the smallest particle to the largest galaxy, arises from this quantum vacuum. It is the source of all creation, the wellspring of existence. In this sense, the quantum vacuum is not just a scientific concept. It is a profound metaphor for the divine. It is omnipresent, present in everything, omnipotent, capable of infinite possibilities, and omniscient, knowing all that is, was, and will be. In other words, the quantum vacuum embodies the very attributes we traditionally ascribe to God. If the quantum vacuum is the source of all that is, then we too are manifestations of this infinite field of energy. Within each of us lies a divine spark a fragment of the quantum vacuum, a fingerprint of the cosmos. Recognizing this spark is the essence of enlightenment. It is the realization that we are not separate from the universe, but intimately connected to it. This understanding has the power to transform our lives. When we embrace the truth 
that we are part of the quantum vacuum, part of the divine. We release the illusion of separation. We let go of the ego, the false sense of individuality that seeks to control and dominate. Instead, we allow the divine spark within us to guide our actions, trusting that the universe is a harmonious whole. This does not mean we should abandon effort or responsibility. On the contrary, we must strive to align our thoughts, actions, and intentions with the flow of the quantum vacuum. By doing so, we become co-creators of reality, shaping our lives in harmony with the infinite possibilities of the cosmos. The illusion of separation is the root of all suffering. Wars, exploitation, greed, and hatred arise from the belief that we are separate from one another and from the universe. But a double-slit experiment and the concept of the quantum vacuum reveal a deeper truth. We are all interconnected, all part of the same infinite field of energy. When we harm others, we harm ourselves. When we love others, we love ourselves. This is the essence of the ancient teaching, Thou art that, the recognition that the self and the universe are one. By embracing this truth, we can transcend suffering and create a world of harmony, compassion, and peace. The double slit experiment is more than a scientific milestone. It is a revelation that bridges the gap between science and spirituality. It shows us that reality is not fixed, but fluid, shaped by the interplay of consciousness and energy. It invites us to see ourselves not as isolated individuals, but as integral parts of a vast, interconnected cosmos. The quantum vacuum, the source of all that is, is not just a scientific concept. It is a metaphor for the divine. It is the omnipresent, omnipotent, and omniscient force that underlies all existence. By understanding and embracing this truth, we can transform our lives and our world. As Max Planck, the father of quantum physics, once said, science cannot solve the ultimate mystery of nature. And that is because, in the last analysis, we ourselves are part of the mystery we are trying to solve. The double slit experiment is a reminder that the mystery of existence is not something to be solved, but something to be experienced. A dance of consciousness and energy, a journey into the heart of the quantum vacuum, the heart of God. Thank you for joining me on this journey. May it inspire you to see the world and yourself in a new life.